In this video I'm going to be pumping this cooker socket and switch with 5000 volts and uh, hopefully we get flames. So here's Mark 2 of the Touch It You Die rig. There's two uh, microwave transformers in series. And I made sure they're in phase so we get double the voltage out of here. These are extra thick insulation on these cables. Oh, that won't focus. Anyway, that's going to be wired into the back of that switch and that's going to be put on something insulating. This uh, marble chopping board ought to do it. We'll push the rig back a bit, like there. Sit that on that, like that, and we'll wire that in to the cooker switch. Damn midges. So, plug these wires into the feed. Midges. They're really going to town biting me. Let's wrap these wires together, keep them out of the way so they don't touch anything they're not meant to. So like so, there we go. Ready to go. Put that in. Rig is primed. Okay, as uh, AVE says, contact, let's do that again, oh, and we tripped the circuit breaker. <laughs> Oops. Okay, this is a second attempt to set this thing ablaze with uh, high voltage. Uh, the first time we tripped the, the circuit breaker. So, I'm just going to connect that in again. Three, two, one, and contact. Flames. Let's keep going. I'm getting bit alive with midges over here. Let's hope that stinky smoke will keep them away. Ah! That is stinking. Thank you. 
we'll just keep hammering it until the kettle is finished boiling. I am crawling with midges. Oh, go away. And that's it. The wires supplying the high voltage to the switch have burned. The insulation's melted off and they've shorted together. Okay, we're making the rig safe. There we go. We've got a physical break. We can actually have to go in and handle it. Well, handling it. Look at that. I reckon if we pull these wires apart, connect the rig back up, we might get some more some more action out of it before it is finished. Let's plug the plug the main supply back in. Alright. Three, two, one. We'll just run that until the kettle's finished boiling. Kettle's just about to uh, click off any minute. No. Sorry, nose is full of gunk.
Oh, there we go. Well, there. Nah, I didn't incinerate it like I thought it was going to do. But we did get flames. And that uh, cooker socket will never work again. <laughs> so I did disconnect that at the other end. So let's see if these switches still actuate. This one probably would. I didn't nook that part. This bit here is still hot though. Ooh. <laughs> That's a bit crispy. Yummy. Trying to burn myself on that. That was the cooker switch and socket on high voltage. Thanks for watching.